Hello guys, who here, back in another video, this time around guiding you through the profession, the martial arts. Yes, we are becoming a ninja, and in this video we are going to go through the different brackets, you know, 0 to 50, to 50, to 100, and so forth, all the way to 200. If the profession ever gets updated to maybe 300, I will of course link it in the description, where there will be an updated guide from 200 to the 300 or whatever it's going to be updated to in the future, but for now it's only for 200. In the description there is also a written guide to this whole profession, if you would rather read that and just go through that one. But we are going to take it step by step in this video here with also timestamps. Also in the video there is linked videos to uh, everything you need to know about the profession. So a much longer video just breaking down the best way to approach how you're going to get your positive and negative karma, which is the exclusive resources to this profession. So go check that one out. It's also linked up in the cards, but it's also linked in the description. So go check out the description for more information. So that's the intro. Next, we are going to talk about how you obtain the three different workbenches. And then we are going to go into the different brackets and just in the end we are going to talk about the total cost of the whole profession and in the end we are going to summarize. So with that said we are gonna figure out how we are going to get these three different crafting benches which is coming up right here. Alright guys, to require the crafting benches, all we have to do is go to the hub and you can see here is the Sun Goddess statue. So this is where you spawn in and right over here is where you can buy it. It's also the area where the martial area is and it's right outside the Delve house. So getting this one is just going up here, talking to Discipline Daniel, uh, more likely also Daniel Sun maybe, that's maybe reference to here. But here you can buy the different crafting benches. There's no crafting of the crafting benches, you just buy them here and you really don't need the last one right here you definitely need these two but if you have the flux to spare you can definitely go ahead and buy this one as well if you really want to but you can of course buy these and you can put them in your cornerstone or on your club world so if you have as we have in our community club these are already set up as you saw from the intro these are already set up so you can go ahead and just use those or you can use of course the ones that are here we're going to use the ones in the hub to kind of show all case all of this but you basically only need the first two here and this is just just an extra one that also gives a buff. I'll show you guys that one as well. You can see it. So right here, it's just gonna extend the buff that you get. But you need, of course, this one for the uh, this stuff. But this is, of course, the main one that we are going to use for the profession. But yeah, that was the how you are gonna acquire the tra uh, crafting benches. And now we can move into the first bracket. All right, so first bracket is from zero to 50. So we are going to use the crafting table right here in the hub. And as you can see, we are grass hoppers. And of two things you are going to look for is either the stance with the sharpshooter. This is the one I recommend. Or you can also go with the massive roar. That really depends on which classes you're going to use mostly because this is for the candy bar and uh, Loon Lancer. And this one is for the Dino Tamer and the Gun Slinger. And these two are going to be the most cheap ones. You do also have these. If you really want to, you can use a little bit more if you want to if you, you may use other classes like these ones or the vanguardian for example it is going to cost you a little bit more negative and positive karma so if you want to speed through this the best it is going to be these two here and again i recommend this one because maybe the dino tamer and the Gunslinger is more your speed, but either it's Candy Barb or Lunar Lancer. So really, it doesn't matter which ones you are going to use. It depends if you don't really use these classes. I don't really use any of them, so I just sped through them. And I actually used all the sharpshooters because that was the one I picked. And it's not that the buff is better on either, but I just feel like this one had more usefulness than the other one had. So I'm just going to go with this one. You need to get 50 of these. So this is, of course... 250 negative karma and 250 positive karma depending if you use this one or this one is the same but if you of course go up here it's going to be a little bit more costly but yeah definitely these two this is a very nice one as well but it is 50 so that is 15 not 50 but 15 karma each so uh, yeah i definitely would go with either of these two here but yeah that is how you are going to get to so 250 negative karma, 250 positive karma, and you are done with this here bracket, and we can move on to the next bracket. 
All right, so we got the next bracket, and then of course that's from 50 to 100. So we're gonna go into our crafting table again, and now we are down here. And these are the three uh, you can use to get there's a stand, there's a shout, and there's a mantra. The mantra is 30 now, and then the shout is 10, and this one is also 10. So either this one or this one. I do recommend the explosive projectiles because that is the one that has the most classes. But if you are looking for Knight, Neo Ninja, or Vanguardian, I would suggest you do this one. It's gonna be the same cost. It's gonna be 500 negative karma and 500 positive karma doesn't matter if it's this one or this one but look at which classes you are going to use most and then craft for those you can save them you know they you can save them for forever so you can just let have them until you're gonna go play on these classes anyway so it doesn't really have to be anything you save for that but you are going to get like I said 500 negative karma and 500 positive to get to the 100 mark so yeah that's what we're gonna get from 550 to 100 so 50 of each either this one or this one or mix it up you can also do that 25 25 if you want to do so but that does it for this bracket we can now move on to the next one all right, for the next bracket is of course 100 to 150. So we are gonna go into our crafting bench. But now we are down here. There's a little ally if you wanna get that one. It is gonna cost you 350 uh, of each of the karma. So I would suggest you get that afterwards you've done all of this because it's probably only gonna give you like 10, 20 mastery points anyways. And every single step of this is gonna get 75. So I feel like it's a little bit more. If you probably cal cal calculate it out, it's probably better for uh, this one maybe I don't know but the point is I just want to get to 200 uh, you can always get this afterwards again uh, the ally do only give you one of the skill points so it's not like I'm gonna give you 100 skill points or 50 skill points to get to the next one so it's only gonna count as one craft and that's gonna give you only one so I suggest you go with the running momentum transfer because that is gonna be for most of the classes we are getting 20 of each of the karma uh, there is also the intimidating screech and that's gonna also be a 20 as well as you can see here there is also when in trove but at 60 so it, this is a definitely a very very nice buff but uh, 60 is way too much and uh, to get to the other one as well so I would 100% go with either the screech or with the transfer and then you can go with whatever you want here again this one accounts for all the classes this is only for Draculite and Tomb Razor but it's very nice as well if you play a lot of Draculite and a lot of Tomb Razor as well but yeah I would go with the 50 of these and that's of course going to be 1000 negative karma and 1000 positive karma for this one as well or the same for this one if you want to go for a Draculite or a Tomb Razor but yeah I would suggest this one again again there's going to work on all the classes maybe the jump height is not super amazing but it, at least it works on all the classes and you can again save it forever if you want to do so and just put it on for some and it's still two percent again light if you want to use that as well but that's this bracket here now we can move on to the last bracket Oh yes, so now we got the last bracket. That's of course for 150 to 200. So we are going to go into our professions again. And now we are down here under the champion. And there's also a little ally here. And there's also a mount. These again only cost, they cost a lot as you can see here. 500 and also 1000. And they only count as one craft. So you're only going to get one skill point out of each D. So I would suggest you get it later on. As I also talked about, about the ally here up here. But the one I want you to get is the yell this one here because again it uses for every class this one it also is a lot of classes so you could look into that one as well it is 35 this one is going to be 100 it's a nice buff as well but it is way more and it's again only going to count as one skill craft you're only going to get skill one skill as well and we are trying to get to 200 as fast as possible so you need 35 of these each uh, negative comma and positive comma and again, I would go with the yell because this works for all the classes, but you can also go with this one. It just is a lot of classes that it actually works for. So it's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, it's going to be the same cost anyway. So you can do 50-50 uh, when I mean 50, not 50 of each of them, but 25 of these and 25 of these. I mean like 50% of each if you want to mix it up a little bit and have something different and using something different when you're trying to go to 200 anyways. But it doesn't matter if you take the yell or the trap, but it's still going to be 1,700 
1,750 negative karma and also 1,750 positive karma for going to this one. And then you are going to hit, of course, the master as well. There's a nice buff here and there's also a few things you probably want to get here. It is pretty expensive. This one is very expensive, 5,000. But again, that can be uh, arranged for a long time, over a long time, and you can get it then. But yeah, that's how you are going to get to 200. And that is the last thing you are going to need. Now we can go into the outro and talk about the total cost. All right, so now we have the total cost, the outro here and total cost. And the total cost is 3,500 3, negative karma and 3,500 positive karma. Of course, that's not the total cost of all the allies and all the mounts and wings and stuff like that. That is on top of that. But this is how you're going to get to 200 as fast as possible and get done with, of course, the profession itself. I did mention in the beginning, there's also a written guide down in the description. Also in the description, there is that explain everything. I also explain how you are going to get your positive karma and your negative karma. I also talk about that. So if you're wondering why I didn't make a specific video, it's because it's not super complicated to get that. So I just put it in the other video as well. I did make a full video or not a full video, but a small and compact video for the wild Trovian mana for the other profession, but now I put this one here because it's not super, uh, you know, crazy to get your, of course, your positive karma and negative karma. Don't need that much either. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. I really like that you only need positive and negative karma and nothing else than that. That's really awesome, I think, indeed. So, very nice profession. I like it a little bit better than the other one, but this one is just cool uh, still, and the other one is as well. Don't really matter, but the point is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!